All right, switching gears, when you scan the rankings of the most prolific scorers in women's college basketball this season, you might be surprised as to who is at the top. She plays at Texas Southern, but it's what happened before the season started that has offered up the motivation needed to push through the biggest moment of her entire career. Are you trying to race? Are you trying to race? The true strength of a person and on three, one, two, three, one. is a reflection of the tragedy they've experienced. Says win, sis. <laughs> Joyce Kinnerson, for example, has turned what have been six months to forget Bye. into a season destined to be remembered. Oh. Continue playing D. The Texas Southern Guard didn't always play basketball. In elementary school, she was a third grader. She was actually a cheerleader. She didn't move, Rep. That's her father, Anthony. Call, Next to her mother, Demetria. The Port Arthur residents go to every single one of her games, including that very first one back in third grade when she left those cheer days behind her. <laughs> do you remember that moment? Mm -hmm, I do. Just like, like it happened yesterday. And I told my cheerleading coach, I was like, Coach, I don't want to cheer for them. If they're losing, like, can I help them out? And she was like, go ahead. So they had an extra uniform for me. I went to go change as soon as I got in the game. Just started making bucket after bucket. And she's never really stopped. Now, every time she hits that floor, it's business. The junior is now the nation's leading scorer, averaging 25.2 points per game. That's pretty neat, right, when you kind of put that in perspective? Once I look at it, it's like, wow, this is really real. Like, I'm really a top scorer. Have you always been a, a scorer? I always like my sis. She's unselfish by nature, which makes sense when you know why she almost gave all of this up in August. I mean, if I didn't have one more voice in my head telling me, well, one more person in my ear telling me to go back to school, I would have stayed. At home in Port Arthur to be with family after Hurricane Harvey damaged her home. We went from having what I call everything to basically having nothing. Family first. I'm going to make sure that they're okay before I go back and do and go back to my regular lifestyle. But we have to make sure that she knew that this was about her, not about us. And so she plays each game with a heavy heart. Amazing that the hurricane serves as only part of what drives her each day. And recently, one of my brothers passed away before Christmas Eve. That brother being longtime friend Jalen Johnson, the two inseparable in life, but maybe even more so now during death. I mean, I still text his phone knowing that he's not going to text back, but I still text his phone like, Tell him how many points I scored, how I did. Um, I know you're proud of me. I know you're looking down on me. Um, this is all for you. Now you know every single point has meaning. Being herself, really enjoying what she does, it's a great thing to really see. A scoring title could be in her future. There you go. Just another chapter in an already incredible story. If it's meant to be, then it'll happen. She's a great kid. Amazing how she's able to take the floor every day with all those odds. There is Kenderson at the top of the screen. And listen, she's dominating the swack these days. I don't see why she couldn't stay up at the top and claim that scoring title. But she would like to get her Lady Tigers back to the NCAA tournament for sure.